We continue our unit on logarithms with the properties of logarithms. Learning how to condense and expand a logarithm will help us to solve logarithmic equations. We're going to start with the multiplication addition. When you multiply inside a logarithm, you can expand the logarithm by adding the two numbers together. It's like the property of exponents. When you multiply like bases, you add the exponents and the base stays the same. Since logarithms and exponentials are inverses of each other, I'm going to do the same thing here. When I multiply, we add. The next logarithmic property is when you divide, you subtract. And the third one, you cannot have an exponent when you're expanding, so the exponent has to move out front. So now let's use the laws of logarithms to expand the following expressions. Log base 2 of 5 times a times b looks like this first property where I'm multiplying. So I'm going to split this up into three terms, because there are three terms, with the log base 2, and I'm going to put an addition sign between each one. So this is log base 2 of 5 plus log base 2 of a plus log base 2 of b. Now let's look at the second logarithmic expression. Log base 5 of 8 divided by x. This would be the second property, that when we're dividing, we can expand by subtracting. So log base 5 of 8 minus log base 5 of x. In the third example, log base 2 of 6 times x squared times y cubed, notice not only am I multiplying, but I also have exponents. That means I'm going to be using the top property and the bottom property. And I'm going to do this in a few steps. The first step I would do would be to expand. So log base 2 of 6 plus log base 2 of x squared plus log base 2 of y cubed. Don't forget your bases. Remember that if there's not a base there, it's understood to be 10, and this is a base 2. You can only condense if it's the same base. Okay, now let's move our exponents. This 2 will move out front, and this 3 will move out front of this log. So now we have log base 2 of 6 plus 2 times log base 2 of x plus 3 times log base 2 of y. Next example. Notice I have a lot going on here. The first thing I would do would be to go ahead and separate and change the division to a subtraction, but you can do it the other way. It doesn't matter. You can do it by doing the multiplication to addition first if you want. We have log base 3 of 4a squared minus log base 3 of bc squared. Our next step would be to change to expand. So this would be log base 3 of 4. Since this is multiplication, I'm going to use this the first law. The first property, log base 3 of a squared minus log base 3 of b plus log base 3 of c squared. Now I still have to get rid of these exponents because when I'm expanding I'm not allowed to have exponents. So the final answer will be log base 3 of 4 plus 2 log base 3 of a minus log base 3 of b plus 2 
log base 3 of C. The first thing I would do in this example is to do a little math first before I start expanding. I notice that this is a square root that's understood to be a 2. Remember when we rewrite a radical, this is the base, this is the root, and this is the power, and we can rewrite it to be the base power over root. So I can rewrite this to be log of a to the fifth power divided by b raised to the one half power. The next thing I need to do is multiply within the exponents because remember this gets multiplied, that power to the power property. So this is log base 10 of a to the 5 over 2 divided by b to the 1 over 2. Now we can expand. And I'm going to use down here, some notes down here at the bottom. Log base a of 5 over 2 minus log base b of 1 half. And then the very last step would be to bring the exponents out to the front. Now we have 5 over 2 times log base a minus 1 over 2 times log base b. Now that we've expanded some logarithmic expressions, let's condense some logarithmic expressions. Now we're just going backwards. So the first thing I want to handle is all the exponentials first. So this is a 3 moves back over here. So this is log base 5 of 7 plus log base 5 of x to the third power. Now I need to still condense because just like in an exponents, when I'm condensing, I can only have one of each letter. I can only have one logarithm of base 5. Because this is a plus sign, I'm just going backwards on the property. Since this is a plus, I'm going to change it to multiplication. Log base 5 of 7x cubed. In the next example, I have a minus sign. So this one becomes log base 2. This one always goes first. The one that we see first goes on top. So x over 3. Next example, take care of the exponents first. So that goes here and 3 goes there. So we have log base 6 of m to the 1 half minus log base 6 n to the third power. Remember, m to 1 half is the same thing as the square root of m. So now we have log base 6 square root of m divided by n cubed. Next example. Notice I have a parenthesis here right after that 3. And parentheses still means to distribute. So 3 gets distributed to both logarithms. So 3 times logarithm base 3 times log base 2 of a minus 3 log base 2 of b. Now we can just condense because the 3's actually become the exponents. So this is log base 2 of a cubed minus log base 2 of b cubed. I still have a minus sign right here in between. So now I just rewrite this one more time. This is log base 2 of a cubed divided by b cubed. And last example. First I notice that this 3 is going to move up here and I have multiplication. So this top piece is going to be log base 3 of 4m cubed minus the second one is going to look like log base 3 of n squared. Now I still have this minus sign, so this is going to be log base 3 of 4m cubed divided by n squared.